firstly, Lucky Fogarty, welcome to the Blue Broad YouTube channel. Thank you. Again. Thanks, mate. Um, coming off a pretty big win Friday night. Um, I don't want to focus too much on it because I know we've got a game in a couple of days, but how do you process Friday, focusing in on it, and then moving on quickly to this week? Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it was probably one of the, my favourite wins um, to be a part of. So that first 48 hours, and as Vo Vossi touched on, it was actually enjoy it and um, reflect on it a little bit. But as you said, you know, we've got another opposition. We're playing for four points against Richmond, so it's quickly uh, turning the focus around. Yep. You, your story, I feel like it reflects the club in a lot of ways. Um, been through some challenges, a bit of resilience needed. Can you take us through the process of what happened with your back and what it was like coming back to where you are today? Yeah, so um, it was back into the 2021 season when I first um, started getting the, the back symptoms. And um, yeah, I just had some, some pain, I guess, running down my leg. And yeah, it was something I persevered with and, and dealt with um, in the 2022 season. Um, but yeah, probably wasn't able to play the, the footy um, that I wanted to play. and. Yeah, I felt I lost a bit of my power and speed during that, that period. Um, so then we decided to get surgery at the end of the 2022 season. And, um, and I've touched on it before, but yeah, I got to work pretty closely with George Hewitt, and, um, which was massive for me. And just seeing how professional he is and um, how detailed he is and, and what he does day to day to, to get up for trainings and games, um, I took a lot out of that. And I feel like that's helped me become a better player as well. So, um, and even the rehab staff as well, you know, Will Tarder for physio and Matt Bodie, um, he's the rehab coordinator. Yeah, they, they were massive for me during that period. Yeah, we spoke to George a few weeks ago. Um, he mentioned you as the player to look out for this season. So I think having that, <laughs> spent that time with him, he's seen firsthand your preparation. Um, what do you learn through the process of coming back from such an arduous uh, you know, injury and something you've really got to you know, tick the boxes with? Yeah, um, I think for me it was just my preparation and, and recovery was, it was a big thing. And, um, you know, some of the exercises you do aren't very fun, but um, they're pretty rewarding and they, they make you stronger. So, for instance, I spent a lot, lot of time on the Pilates reformer. Um, but at the same time, I think it makes you more resilient going through those types of things and those types of injuries and um, knowing that you can bounce back and get, get out on the other side. So... Yeah, I feel like it's, it's helped in that regard. Yeah, that's good. We had an announcement this week with the Great Southern Bank. Um, probably ties into the stability piece around the club. Yeah. What does an announcement like that do for you as players and, and for the team? Yeah, it's, no, it's massive. And as you touched on the, the stability, um, to have them sign on again. And um, yeah, I think the AFLW is going to have the, the sponsor on their jerseys and the, the men's program will have it on uh, for away games. But... Um, you know, we've had the coach sign on, um, the president, the CEO, so to have that stability, which we probably hadn't had in previous years, I, I think it's massive for the club moving forward. Yeah. I had the pleasure of meeting your parents randomly. I was at the BNF a few years ago, got a ticket last minute, <laughs> um, and I, I, mean, I could tell from there you know, the love and, and support they've given you. Yeah. Can you touch on that support system that you got at home away from footy? Yeah. Yeah, they've been massive for me, mum and dad, um, along with my girlfriend, Emily. Um, yeah, they've been there since day one. Um, you know, they come to every game. They were, they were there in Brisbane on Friday night. And, um, yeah, I felt like they've just always believed in me. And, um, you know, often you talk about proving people wrong, but for me it's probably been more about proving the people who've believed in me, uh, proving to them that they're right. And, um, yeah, they've always given me the confidence and... Yeah, um, told me that I'm good enough, and which is sometimes all you need, just that reminder. And yeah, that was massive for me. Yeah. I'm going to touch on a few questions from the fans. We put out a little poll. Some people wanted to get in touch. Yeah. Uh, I've got one here from the account is named Equality. Uh, the gentleman lives in the US. He watches every week, tunes in every week, and he writes long essay comments. It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> but basically, he said, please ask Fogarty about his instructions regarding his running patterns and spending time around the tools, and if there is a specific assignment or if he has more of a free hand to just find the contest, apply pressure anywhere. It's always fascinating how vastly different small forwards' roles can be, even if it's ostensibly the same position. Yeah, yeah. so it's a good question. Um, I guess... Us six forwards, you know, we all want to stay connected and um, 
So in terms of my patterns, um, when there's long down the line contests, being a smaller forward, I want to get to those contests. Um, at times, it's get to the drop of ball. At times, it's you know spit through and, and get forward. So um, yeah, I think it's just reading what the other forwards are doing as well, and sort of referencing off them. And and then we talk about the big guys coming down. It's it's trying to get in the key defender's way and just block them. Um, you know don't have to hip and shoulder them, it's literally just getting in their way, which I think allows Harry, Charlie, Tom DeConney, gives them a, a free jump at the ball. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, it was a big win last week. I want to congratulate you on that, obviously. Uh, but even bigger was you made a big debut on the besties <laughs> with the mini mic. Uh, you touched on something at the start there. You said you weren't sure if you want, we want you to do it. Yeah. Just so you know, we all want to see yeah. you more. We, we love seeing you, we love hearing from you. Um, so make sure you, you get around the besties when they get yeah. the mic out there. No, I'll, be, I'll keep doing it. No <laughs> if you need preparation yeah. for the question, we can send that early. Yeah. It's not yeah. a problem. Uh, this one's from Sam. What was the general feel amongst the players in the last two minutes, yeah. knowing what we had done in the final series and had that experience? Yeah, yeah. as you touched on, the experience is, is massive. And um, yeah, we, we actually train those types of scenarios. I feel like every AFL club would be doing that these days. I know Colin would have touched on it a fair bit, but yeah, we practice both scenarios when we're when we're winning um, with two minutes to go and when we're losing. So, and I feel like with the group, um, you know, it's a, it's a mature group now. And having the last couple of years together, we understand the the roles that need to be played in the last two minutes. And yeah, we've we've watched the the vision, and there were maybe a couple of things we we could have changed, but ultimately we were pretty happy with how it went. Yeah. Final question. There was actually six versions of this. Yeah. Uh, can you ask Fog where did he learn to tackle like that? Yeah, um, I think initially, I've got two older brothers, first okay. of all, who are a lot older, so they probably used to beat me up a bit back in the day, so I think that might have helped. But also, my middle brother played VFL footy and um, at Footscray, and one of his strengths was, was his tackling, and um, yeah, it's something that really stood out for me, and I don't know, I guess just from juniors, it's just something I always train and I take pride in, and um, you know, I practice the technique of it as well, you know, grabbing one arm and things like that. So, but it's something I really enjoy doing. And as long as it helps our, our team, then I'm happy to do it. Absolutely. Well, on behalf of everyone, just want to wish you good health more than anything. Um, all the best for the year ahead. And thanks so much for spending some time with me here today. Nah, thanks, Terry. So Cheers, thanks, Bob. Appreciate Cheers, it. Mate.